you guys are thought to be the sleeper team in the Big East. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why are people sleeping on you? I don't know, I feel like they're going off the result that we had last season. Um, we, we don't, we're not here to make any excuses or anything like that, but we know we ca we're capable of, we know what we bring to practice every day. Um, so we don't really worry about what, what, what people are saying. So we feel like um, if they're sleeping on us, like let them keep, let them keep sleeping. So many players throughout the off season went through a change of scenery in some way, shape or form. You guys had so many obstacles last season. The COVID pauses early in the season, especially spoke for themselves and you dealt with injuries. Right. After all that, Aaron, why is this place home? Um, I just feel like it's home because of the, the people. I feel like the coaches make it home uh, and, our, and my teammates. Like we're all just one big family. I feel like everything that we go through, like nobody's pointing the finger or anything like that. It's just all like we in it together. So whatever we go through, we're gonna, we're gonna find a way to get through it together. I think that's what makes this, make this place special. Nobody's blaming or pointing the finger. I think everybody's just in it you know, for one goal, and that's just to make, our, make the next person better, sacrifice for the next person. You know, obviously it was a unique year last year, which then leads to a unique year this year with uh, you know, guys coming back for a fifth or sixth year. Uh, Aaron Thompson, Christian David, Jared Bolden, Bryce Enzi all decided to come back. Um, and then bringing in, you know, Ty Gross, who's got you know, plenty of college basketball experience, and Bo Hodges. So uh, it makes it unique, certainly. You know, we've got 15 players on scholarship, uh, and we've got a huge range with Jair Bolden, who's 24 years old, and, and Jaden Taylor, who just turned 18, which is, it creates a unique situation. But um, the thing I've enjoyed is uh, those guys wanted to come back and come back for the right reasons for Butler. Um, they're on a mission, um, not pleased with how last year went, and, and uh, having the opportunity to, to kind of have another last dance together. And they're doing a great job of teaching, uh, teaching the young guys kind of how we do things here and, in terms of our culture and our principles. You came right in, you looked comfortable with this program, and it's hard to do that as a, a freshman for a lot of freshmen. What is it about you that really matches with Laval Jordan and the Butler Bulldogs? Definitely our chemistry uh, that I got from day one of meeting them. Um, we click together. Uh, I really respect what he has to say. He really respects what I have to say. It's, it's definitely a mutual feeling between me and him. Um, and that, along with uh, him being a great coach and just teaching me every day uh, how to be a better player, how to be a better man, it's just, it, it all fits together. What are the differences in this particular team this season that you think are going to allow you to take that next step and be a team that can make the NCAA tournament? I think we're an old group of guys. Uh, ben had a lot of basketball in their belt. And I think just maybe outsmarting people and just being more smart in the court and just having the experience will help us uh, get to that point. What's something that we have not seen from Bryce Enzi that we're about to see this season? Yeah, I think you guys just got that traditional back to the basket type player. Um, for me, it's just showing I could like expand my game. To be honest, I'm more comfortable on the perimeter. I guess whatever happens just happens, but we'll see.